Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to schedule your Insta stories using Preview app. You only need two things, your photos and videos and Preview app. Also, I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video because you are a hardcore Instagrammer and you understand the importance of Insta stories to grow your brand and to grow your account. So watch until the end, I will show you how you can elevate and brand your Insta stories. All right, just follow these four simple steps. First, add all your photos and videos inside preview. And remember, they shouldn't be squared. They need to stay in portrait mode. I also recommend that you create a separate gallery in preview app just for your Insta stories, because this way you won't mess up your main planned feed in preview. Second, once you have added all your photos and your videos, you can reorder your Insta stories just by drag and dropping the images around. And then what you can do is also go in the photo editor section. So just click on that little circle on the bottom and then you can either apply filters. So you can still go to the filter pack section and select what theme you want to stick with, if you want to stick with a theme, or you can just go in the photo editor in preview and add stickers, text, you can draw, um, you can use the whitening tool if you need. And once you are happy with the order of your post that is all chronological, you can go ahead and schedule your Insta stories. So to schedule, just go inside of the caption section and turn on the scheduling post. And here, just choose a day and a time that you want your Insta story to go live. What I also recommend doing is writing a caption. So it, of course it won't be a caption, but it can be the text that you want to add on top of your Insta story once you are in Instagram. Because Preview app will automatically copy the um, text for you once you export your Insta story on Instagram. And that way you just have to paste. That's it. You don't even have to think. It's all planned for you. And the last step is to share your scheduled Insta stories. Okay, remember, Instagram doesn't allow any other apps to post automatically for you. It's against their policy, they can ban your account or even punish you, and we don't want that to happen. So when it's time to post, just go inside of Preview app, select the photo or video that you need to share right now in your Insta story, and just tap the export icon. And instead of exporting to Instagram, just select Save to Camera Roll. And if you're on Android, just select Upload to Photos. Now all you have to do is go on your Insta story on Instagram, just swipe up, and your photo or your video will just appear right here in the 24-hour window. And that's it. Okay, are you still listening? Leave me a comment below if you still are. I'm now going to show you what you can do to brand your Insta stories. I'm going to show you four tips to be exact. The first one is to always use the same color combination when you use the drawing tool or the text tool, whether you're doing it inside of preview or inside of Instagram. The second tip is to always use the same filters, especially if you're very big on keeping an Instagram theme. So if you have a favorite filter inside of Preview app, why not use the exact same filter when you are on your Insta stories? This way you keep everything consistent and when people scroll, scroll through or just watch their Insta stories, they will recognize that it's to you within a second. The third tip is to prepare placeholders for your text. So there are three ways that you can prepare placeholders. The first one is to do it on your computer or in the app called Canva. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it before. And just make sure that you are using a portrait placeholder and not landscape, unless you are using landscape for, for example, a tutorial or something like that. 
the second way you can prepare a placeholder is to actually go directly into Instagram Insta stories and you just prepare your Insta story but you don't share them. Instead, you just press save and it will be saved into, you, into your camera roll. Then go inside of preview app, add your placeholder and you can just schedule your Insta story. Add your caption, for example, uh, for the text that you would like to add on top of the placeholder in the future. And you're all set. And the third tip that I have for you to prepare your placeholders is to color block the screen. So if there are some colors inside of Instagram Insta stories that you absolutely love, just take a photo, a random photo. Now select the pen tool. Select a color that you absolutely love and then hold your finger on the screen of your Insta story. Hold, hold, hold and your whole screen will fill up with the color that you have chosen. And just like the previous tip, instead of sharing it on your Insta story, now press select save. And if you want to go the extra, extra, extra mile, then you can go on your computer and prepare your placeholders from your computer. And you can add your logo, your watermark, your brand colors, etc, etc. And that way you're doing full circle from having your branding on your website, perfect branding on your Instagram, and now perfect branding on your Insta stories as well. I think placeholders are amazing if you're really into having a visual voice on Instagram and that way you are consistent on your feed and on your Insta story. So my last tip for you if you want to rebrand those Insta stories is to save your placeholders in a folder on your phone. So I call for example my album or my folder background or background photo and all I have to do is Add this background, this branded background inside preview app and add a caption for the text that I'll need on top of that background. And that is it. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer every single one of them. And until next time, see you all on Instagram. Bye! Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you, go on the website as well. Uh, I'm super active on our blog and I ditch all my best Instagram tips so you can grow your account. So if you're into that, click the link in the bio. In the bio. There's no bio in here. Look at the link in the description box. And that's it. All right. Bye.